Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about my bookstore experience. So I recently visited a bookstore and this one had 11 locations established in 1851. This little gem also welcomes furry friends. Before you enter the bookstore, you'll see this cute little chalkboard sign. And then as you enter the bookstore, of course, new releases are front and center. I get a little shy filming myself, so um, you'll see what it looks like on the inside here. So uh, as you continue in, uh, there's a section for toddler and infant story time. And then I made my way to the fiction side and um, I was planning to get this book based on the staff's recommendation, but then I saw coffee and I was sold. Um, I also kind of wanted to talk about a little bit like um, I, of course, want to try to read the latest books and try to um, tell you guys about it as soon as I can. But, you know, I don't want to feel pressured on having to get the latest book because then it takes the fun away of reading. And I want to read what I want to read and at my own pace. So with that being said, so here are the four books that I bought. So the first one I bought was actually a staff recommended. So um, I'm very excited. It's called The Future by Naomi Alderman, author of the national bestseller, The Power. I read a little bit of the excerpt here. From the author of The Power comes a dazzling tour of force where a handful of friends attempt to save the world from the tech giants whose greed threatens life as we know it. So I thought that was really interesting, kind of like a sci-fi uh, futuristic books. I'm very excited to start reading this. And this was published in November, 2023. So um, if you didn't know, I am in love with Japanese culture. And um, another book that I read, I'll link it up above, also has the same vibe as the next couple books I'm gonna show you. So, um, and I also feel like I gravitate towards reflective and characters finding themselves type stories. So um, the first one is um, this one, The Tatami Time Machine Blues by Tohiko Morimi. This one was published or translated in 2023, but um, what gravitated me towards this is, you know, the amazing art of this um, book. So, but I'm really excited to read it. So a little bit about the book here. In the boiling heat of summer, a broken remote control for an air conditioner threatens life as we know it. This reality bending time slipping sequel to the Tatami Galaxy. So, oopsies, you know, I bought this, this is the, uh, second book to it but that's okay my next one is this book here by satoshi yagasawa days at the morisaki bookshop this was also translated in 2023 um but i think this is kind of like a meta like oh bookstore selling books so this would be very interesting to read as well so the wise and charming international bestseller in hit japanese movie from a young woman who loses everything but finds herself a tale of new beginnings, romantic and family relationships, and the comfort that can be found in books. And then last but not least, this one is by Toshikazu Kawaguchi, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. So this is the book what I was telling you about that this caught my eye because it says coffee. Um, this one, I believe, was published in... Originally published in 2015 and then copyrighted in 2020. Um, so a little bit about this book here. If you could go back, who would you want to meet? So I'm very excited to read the little stories in this too. So I can't wait to read these books for you. Thank you for coming along with me. I do hope to show you around more local bookstores in the area. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.